What's the rush? He owns one of the menus by 12 o'clock. It's 11.59. If we're a few minutes late, big deal. Humongous deal. Fiona slaved for months to make prom perfect, and I, Imogen Marino, refused to disappoint. Ooh. Ah. Fiddlesticks. Are, are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Don't be sorry. But you still haven't opened your report card? It must have slipped my mind. Uh, is that your final answer? The content of this envelope seals my fate. If I pass, I go to design school with Fiona. And if I fail, I spend another year at Degrassi alone. Just open it. There you are. Do you have the menus? Not a word. I don't want to ruin prom night. I'm sensing a conspiracy brewing. Don't tell me the printer's got the font wrong. Stop being such a worrywart. You're right. OK, time for the grand reveal. <sighs> Is it too much? Films, it's, it's like a movie. And where are the stars? Are you ready to have the time of our lives? This place is pretty spooky with the halls all empty, eh? Yeah, I can't believe high school's finally over. <laughs> so, locker's all cleaned out. Need help with yours? No, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> Can you believe this is our last night together? No, no more gossiping before homerooms, keeping to the mall and spares. No, but we'll make new memories when you come visit me at Stanford. Yes, and we will start tonight, which will be the best night ever. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't know. So. Pretty crazy, huh? I mean, it really is the end. But at least we have prom night, huh? Hey, you know, I'm not going. But have fun, though. Did you get it? Yeah, OK. Um, the limo's coming to my house at 8, eight. so meet me there. Right. OK. I'll see you. Jake's not coming to prom. But I'll be there. And I've requested our favorite song so we can create our own movie magic moment. It's great, baby. OK. If you're going to be this mopey at prom, we're going to have a problem. If after graduation, me and Jake never talk again, then what if we just don't talk? OK, well, you need to lock down a bromance, you know? Tell them how you feel. Guys, don't do what you and Katie did, OK? With the whole, oh my god, memories. It's just like, <laughs> forever. Hey, suit yourself. But if you frown once at prom, I'm going to make you eat a corsage. Oh, I can't decide. Hair up like that. Or hair down? Mm, definitely up. You don't want it to compete with your necklace. Oh, but I don't have a necklace. <laughs> don't get too excited. It's not Cartier. It's coin. It's even better. Isn't this unreal? Tonight's prom, tomorrow's graduation, and pretty soon we're going to be at university. But that's still months away. Yeah, but summer's going to fly by. I think we need to get new wardrobes. I'm thinking thrift store chic, black mostly, a few boho accessories, maybe a scarf. Amy, what's wrong? Nothing, everything's perfect. The mouth says one thing, tears another. I flunked all my classes. But you're so smart. Teachers can't grade assignments you don't hand in. We'll still be in the same city, and I can visit between classes, and I'll be your sophisticated college girlfriend. I love you, Fiona Coyne. What was
What's that sound? The pitter patter of my heart. Fifi? Mom? What are you doing here? Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, wait, you're not on the lamb, right? <laughs> no. But I have news, and it's going to change everything. What about this one? Ali, I told you I'm not going to prom. But what about... Don't you dare say. Eli? <sighs> Hasn't he sent you, like, a dozen voicemails? Yeah, well, he wanted space, so I'm giving him lots. Well, you know what they say, looking good is the best revenge. <sighs> She's right, you know. Sorry, we met? Cliff Jacobs? I'm in your history class. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, see you around. Okay. What about all the people who want you two together? What people? You guys are finalists for prom king and queen. OK. <laughs> for the last time, Eli and I are done. And for the last time, I don't buy it. Hey, uh, Cliff? Do you have a date for prom? OK, information overload. So our legal troubles are resolved and our assets are unfrozen. But I haven't gotten to the best part yet. On the plane ride home from New York, I sat next to Federico Cavaliere. Who? The head designer at Mermozzi? His spring collection made me weep. I showed him the sketches of the dresses you designed for prom. And it turns out he's looking for a junior designer. In Rome. <sighs> Italy. But that's hundreds of miles away. Thousands. I know how much you love La Dolce Vita. <gasps> Oh, morning espresso in the cafe and leisurely lunches in the piazza. And the shopping, don't forget the shopping. <laughs> okay, if we don't get out, we'll be late for prom. Amy's right. Can we talk about this tomorrow? No, Federico is only in town tonight. You need to call him. Fiance, we need to get dressed now. for Clifford or Clifton? Uh, Heathcliff. No, no, no tortured romantic heroes. Tonight is about fun. New people, new experiences. And making Eli jealous. <laughs> Ellie, can you sit me up? Yeah, sure. Um, what, is the zipper stuck? No, there's like a lump or something. A lump? Or a bump, Jenna, come feel this? Oh. Oh. Yeah, you should get that checked out. My aunt had something like that. Turned out it was cancer. Okay, it's probably not cancer, just a cyst or something. <laughs> well, at least if I die, I never have to hear Eli's name again. Blair, your prom date's here. Oh, sit me up, sit me up. All right. Okay. Good? Good? Yeah. Eli? No. No, 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 no. You said we weren't a fairy tale? I'm here to prove you wrong. <laughs> Who are you? Cliff, her home date. Who are you? Eli, her uh, soulmate. Fiona really outdid herself. Take a picture of me and Mo. Okay. Smile. Aw. 
That was a fake smile. I tried. No, you're not allowed to be sad tonight. I can't just pretend. Then go home. Are you serious? Is she serious? This is Marisol on prom night. She's serious. Fine. You want me to go? I'm gone. Hey, handsome. What? Can't handle seeing my man sad. <laughs> Coins whipped in like Mussolini and forced Fiona to take this stupid opportunity. A job in Italy? Mamma mia. We could visit. I've always wanted to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Focus, people! Mama Coin, Ruthless Dictator, Fiona, indentured plebe. Discuss! Amy, don't worry about it. Federico probably won't even call back. You called him? Yeah, but I got his voicemail, so. Mm -hmm. You want to dance? I love dancing. Just remember, those Romans are brutal. They feed people to lions. That was thousands of years ago. Yeah, well, there's no proof they've changed. Let's not even talk about this until Federico calls back. I have to go announce prom king and queen. Are you coming? I'll just guard the purses. and you haven't broken a commitment. Best prom date ever. What about the Prince Charming getup? The carriage, so romantic. You know what's not romantic? Breaking up with someone after you tell them that you're all in. We had a plan. He was gonna go to NYU, I was gonna follow to Columbia. We'd get a studio apartment in Brooklyn. Sounds dreamy. Maybe you should date him. Man, I wish. You're gay. <laughs> it's clear you still love the guy. So what's the problem? OK, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to meet your prom king and queen? OK, drum roll, please. The couple with the most votes is Eli Goldsworthy and Claire Edwards. You've got to be kidding me. Eli, Claire, come up and get crowned. All right, we've got our king. Has anyone seen our queen? OK, uh, let's just give her a minute or two. Fiona Coin. Yeah, she's um, she's me. Sure, I can meet now. You did the best. Oh, got, yeah, you got, yeah, got tasters for that. Okay, put that in your face. Yeah, we did, we did it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh. Man, oh. I want these good times to end, dude. I'm glad you came. Yeah, me too. This is the best deal ever. <laughs> what do you mean deal? 50 bucks to sit at your table? I mean, Marisol said that she wanted to fill one of the empty seats so you guys didn't look like losers. I mean, it's just prom politics, I don't know. Marisol paid you to come? Well, if I'd known the food was this good, I would have come for free, man. Glad to know Marisol thinks so highly of me. What was that? No relationship drama? Relationship drama. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. See you around. Fiona. Come stai, bello. Mm. Mm. Uh, I prefer 
Miss Coin. After all, my family is really rich, but you already knew that, right? See? Oh, so that's why you want me to work for you? Because of my connections? Scusi? <sighs> I'm on to you, Federico. You Italians are a sneaky bunch, and don't even get me started on the lions. Miss Coin, are you inebriated? <sighs> I thought you would never offer. So, tell me about the job. Ma che cosa dici? I never seen such rude behavior. Oh, I'm the rude one? You interrupted my prom with my girlfriend to talk about this stupid opportunity. So let's talk. Opportunity? There is no opportunity for you. In fact, I hope I never lay eyes on Fiona Coin again in my life. Porca miseria. Nothing would make me happier. Anya, the hottest girl was my date last year. This year, three not as hot girls turned me down. Three. This is my last night out for a while. Summer, full-time daddy duty. No more dates for me. Marisol requested this song for us. But you want to have this stupid romantic moment. You know what's not romantic? Paying Jake to come to prom with us behind my back. Girls, man, they're just not worth it. See? Marisol doesn't got to pay anyone to be my friend. I got you guys. I got you guys. Things don't work out with your date? Please, you need to stop. Claire, I was messed up after camp. I wasn't thinking. But a day hasn't gone by, I haven't missed you. Me too. Then why can't you forgive and forget? Because you bailed on me. I'm a production assistant on Brett Barnett's new film. I leave tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we only have one night left. What do you say, my queen? My dad sounded really weird on the phone, so I went to go check on him, but it's false alarm. I thought you'd be hiding out because of Italy. Truth. I wish this stupid opportunity didn't exist. Well, I'm not sure that it does. Federico didn't even call back. But I'm not going to let it ruin prom. <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> Wait, why do you have my phone in your purse? Um, yeah, mine died, so I borrowed yours. Who is it? Oh, my mom. Can we just let it ring? I really love this song. No, maybe she heard from Federico. I'll meet you on the dance floor, okay? Hi, Mom. Who'd have thunk it? The guy who used to drive a hearse and dress all in black would end up prom king. I don't believe that all these people voted for us. Correction. Some of them voted for us. I knew you rigged it. How? Oh. Let's just say I owe Fiona a huge favor. It was worth it. So, what do kids do on prom night these days? Oh, I don't know. Get drunk. Get a room. Have sex. Yeah, 
advice. Drew's made a lot of mistakes, right? And I'll probably make a lot more. I'm right here. I did a bad thing. A terrible, terrible thing. And when Fiona finds out, she'll never forgive me. Just tell her the truth and tell her you're sorry. That's your expert advice? Oh, what? Love conquers all, right, B? <laughs> you're such a sap. Go check on your dad. No. You impersonated me at a meeting with Federico. Federico just called my mom to say that I was drunk. Do you know how worried she was? Pretty worried, I bet. How could you do this? Because I don't want you to go. Kind of romantic, huh? No, it was selfish and immature. You're the one that made all these promises about next year, then the moment you get a better offer, I was by your side through everything. It's just some stupid job, Fiona. It's my future. And I expect my girlfriend to understand that. Can we just kiss and make up? It's prom, and we shouldn't waste it fighting. Yeah, you're right. Where are you going? To have the time of my life. Whatever it takes I know I can make it through And if I hold out my love, I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through